Okay, so let me talk to you about the, <coughs> the thermodynamics of polymer blend. And this kind of picture is pretty common in Flurry Huggins. And this more like a checkerboard kind of picture is known as a, um, a lattice model to represent the Flurry Huggins lattice model. And as you can see that there's a black dots are connected as to represent a polymer A, and the white dot is represented as a polymer B. Right? So from here, you can see that, okay, from this one, a yeah, number of repeating unit Na, which is uh, essentially uh, degree of polymerization of polymer A, and then this is uh, the this polymer B, and so you are uh, defined the NB from their dP values, and then overall the essentially the what is called a volume fraction. because uh, the contact is based on the volume fraction, not by the uh, weight fraction. So volume fraction of uh, polymer A is, we can just say, pi A, okay? And so does the volume fraction of polymer B will be pi B, which is one minus pi A, okay? So having said that, uh, what will be the flurry huggins th uh, theory which is uh, because of spaces, I am going to write this equation up here, uh, flurry huggins theory. Equation defines a delta mixing, mixing enthalpy. Okay, so this is a mixing enthalpy uh, that is discussed in the flurry huggins theory, okay? And the, the flurry huggins theory is uh, going to, delta G mix uh, is going to be, uh, looking at the figures in the pages, okay, is uh, pi A, N A, ln pi A. N B pi B ln pi B plus chi pi A pi B. Okay. And this is uh, essentially normalized by uh, NRT. So this is a per normalized uh, gives free energy energies uh, of mixing. And this is a very similar to the, what it's called, or uh, similar to the regular solution theory to essentially to um, to consider the interaction between A and B by this interaction parameter and the chi is what they call flurry huggins uh, interaction parameters so this one comes down to the our understanding about what is chi chi is Flurry Huggins interaction parameter. It is a theoretical value, and then, and in the in the experiment, people trying to change the Flurry Huggins interaction parameter by experiment, and so chi is typically known as a plus b over t. It just has a guideline. Okay, some, some of them actually using as A over B over T plus other terms. Some uh, C, I don't know, C over T square or C over like, uh, the, the other terms that be people using it. And that's just an experiment uh, more fudge factors that to trying to make it here. But one thing that is uh, clear, uh, that clearly people understood is chi interaction parameter should be an inverse function of temperature, and then this is a sort of an offset for that, and there might be other terms to just to, to correct them. The beauty of the flurry huggins theory is a simplicity of this uh, uh, mixing uh, Gibbs free energy uh, representation, but you know, there's a price to pay. We're trying to really make uh, uh, many uh, 
realistic uh, deviation from the idealized model by putting in um, a more complicated interpretation of the kind. But you know, the simple, very uh, you know, simple sense. Usually, uh, when the temperature is going up, chi is coming down. Okay, and this is a case for UCST, and that's pretty common. So you are you are making the temperature going up is making the chi values to go coming down, and uh, it is when the temperature goes up sometimes the uh, chi values can go up, and this is a case you can s call it as LCST in the experiment, and this is a uh, uh, can this uh, observation has been shown in the case for the polymer blend. So the LCST is quite, quite, quite common. Sometimes I have seen that. So depending on the nature of the temperature dependence of the interaction chronometer chi, you can have those uh, two behavior. Uh, this UCST and LCST is I'm going to is an experimental observation because it's related to actually temperature dependency on the phase separation. I will separately discuss it in the experiment section of. Uh, this polymer blend uh, discussing the later. Here I'm just focusing much more on to the understanding the flurry huggins theory. So flurry huggins theory, once again, this chi parameter is uh, essentially, you can think it as, this is a measure of this likeness. In a way, I'll pull handwriting there. And so uh, this likeness or repulsion, they don't like each other. But if you're trying to force it out, uh, they're going to they're going to do it. So this is a enthalpy contribution, which is an interaction part. Whereas uh, this is uh, what, what we call the combinatorial entropy contribution based on the regular solution theory. So those are the uh, two contribution. Entropy contribution is in here. This is more like an entropy contribution. The enthalpy contribution is from this side. Okay? And so those are the con contribution for the delta G because delta G is a combination of enthalpy and then entropy. Okay, so uh, going to the more theoretical phase diagram uh, that I am going to sh I'm going to show you, and then let me show you the because of this is a section from the blend. Usually, I start with a polymer solution, but I'm starting from the blend, so uh, I am going to show you the uh, blend phase diagram. Theoretical A B blend phase diagram. Okay, the theoretical means uh, you are uh, you are you are using this uh, equation you are using this plot okay and uh, this is uh, what is called the chi is on the axis so when the chi values goes up phase separation should occur This is um, starting from the zero value to the one. Let's just say pi A is a volume fraction of A is shown up here. And what else uh, do I need to define uh, other than, uh, so this has to be defined, and uh, this has to be defined. Okay, so this one is right there, and this one is right there. And then uh, I am going to further simplify this when Na is same as Nb, uh, is so uh, that's called the uh, N, okay, and that's the that's the case that uh, we are going to. I'm going to show it to you later. Uh, in general, they are they are going to have a phase separation just looks like this, and so you are going to have these two phases. Phase separation. This is a bottom here is a miscible single phase. So this is a, what is called a critical position. 
where you can find this the chi value of critical and you can find this the volume fraction a at the critical point okay so the critical chi at this one so the phase separation occurs let me see so phase separation at chi is higher than chi critical okay. and then this is when uh, chi critical it has been dried uh, by people and it was saying that okay 1 over 2 1 over square root to NA 1 over square root to the NB and this textbook and many other books show how this can be derived from the free energy equations from here okay so this is a this is an equation form the chi critical and then you need to have this equation above that and this equation is a little bit too much uh, complicated so uh, I think the most of the people and the, for your cases it might be better for you to say uh, what about if you have a, what they call the symmetric blend when both polymer A, polymer B has the same molecular weight. And then the phase separation occurs in the same way. And then, uh, then now this problem becomes one symmetric blend, just like this. This chi critical becomes actually uh, 2 over N. And that's the one that I think the many people understand for the blend case. Uh, when your when your cases of the polymer molecular weight is defined as an end for A and B at the uh, same molecular weight, that is a chi is B. So this value is is actually two over n for symmetric blend. Okay, uh, that's a that's the one. Let me get this one first. So this is the first one uh, about this. The second one is what about the, what is called the uh, pi A critical. Okay. So pi A critical is can be written as N B over N A plus N B. Okay. So that will be the one. And when the N A and N value uh, and B is of the same, right? If this is the same, this is going to be a half of this. So it was a symmetric position. It will be half uh, throughout those. <laughs> okay, so this is two phases uh, for this two. And then, uh, and this, this point, and you can also think about uh, putting this one in this way. When chi N value is higher than two, blend phase separation occurs. Of course, that's uh, for the case when your both polymers has a same molecular weight, but it is something that you can you can think about uh, knowing this. Okay, uh, then the what I want to also uh, show it up here is uh, this case can be actually under this equation can be used for the understanding of a polymer solution. For polymer solution, let's say A is polymer. So then, then let's say N A is just an N, and the B is your solvent. And then N B is just a one. If you do that, and you know what's going to happen for this, this equation shown up here will be now change it into uh, pi polymer, right? So critical polymer solution volume fraction. So, so naturally, this is just a polymer. So. To save the space, I would just say critical polymer is nothing but 1, 1 over n plus 1, which is a similar to, 
n is a big value for polymer, so it will be these numbers. So this one is quite critical for polymer, for the polymer solution, and this is from the blend. Top. So, so having said that, this phase diagram that you see here for the polymer solution now, And this is now more like a distorted this way, okay? And that's the uh, polymer solution. So polymer volume fraction, 0 to 1. And this is a chi value. And the you have two phases, but your critical composition is essentially going to a smaller value, such as a 0.1 or 0.01. 0.01 means 1% on volume fraction of polymer solution above which the, your phase separation occurs. And uh, for the understanding about the, uh, the chi critical, and this one, uh, if you multiply this one, uh, the equation above shown up here, you, you will see this expression that chi critical um, I critical is uh, is actually 0.5, and you you'll see about that uh, for the later when you look at the uh, position here for when polymer has an insufficiently large molecule weight. Okay, so that's the criteria for where the polymer solution uh, having a phase separation. So it's a little distorted phase diagram uh, because of the asymmetry of a size of A and B, when there's a size A and B the same, which is a polymer blend cases, you have a symmetrical phase diagram. One last portion that I wanted to, to put it in, so let me kind of put a shaded area. So this is a two-phase regions. So that's where the phase separation occurs. So here I just uh, give you a two-phase. And where this is the same two, thing too. We just a little skewed two-phase region, and there's a one thing always clear is you have phase separation as the chi values goes up to a higher, right? So that's the same thing. As chi value gets higher, you have a phase separation in the phase, flurry huggins phase diagram. And But within this phase separation window, there are uh, two different regions. One, and it is shown as a dotted line. Okay, this is also a dotted line here. And this is, has something to do with the phase separation the limit. And uh, this is, a, so to, to say here, this is a spinodal line. This is a binodal line. Binodal line. Okay. And the phase separation mechanism is uh, different. So once again, this is a binodal, whereas the one that up there is a spinodal. Spinodal line. So within this uh, pocket between spinodal and the binodal, it is a phase separation mechanism. The phase separation mechanism, this and and, and the other one, <clears throat> this is uh, the mechanism is nucleation and growth of the phase separation. Okay, so discrete polymer rich regions, well, uh, composition A rich region is developed and composition B rich region is developed and they start to grow. Okay, and within this actually spin out the lines and then this is uh, the phase separation within this pocket here. Uh, this is where now I can, let me see if I can put a little different uh, shaded color here, which is here. Within this two-phase region, this the region that I just highlighted as a, this yellow, 
and this is where you are, we are going to see the what is called the let me blow it up spinodal decomposition. Okay, so that's here too. Here is a where you are seeing spinodal decomposition. The phase separation. mechanism is not the same and then I will I will just uh, leave it uh, the uh, things uh, just like that for the theoretical phase diagram so I, I just wanted to stay here to to give you a more focused idea about more theoretical this is a more theoretical portion of the flurry Huggins uh, polymer blend understanding uh, as I mentioned before uh, Paul Flory won the Nobel Prize in the polymer chemistry for his contribution on polymers and uh, polymer on the physical chemistry principles of polymer, Polyhuggins Huggins theory is a is a really widely known equation to describe the phase separation and the different kinds of the how the molecular weight affects for the polymer solution, and then later expanded onto the polymer blend. Actually, this lecture is going to the other reverse way. I talked about polymer blend, and then I actually introduced an idea about polymer solution, about the phase uh, phase behaviors, and so on. And this is uh, described in the chapter uh, chapter uh, chapter 18. And if you look at the uh, pages, let me see. We just uh, let me just say this. This section is related to chapter 18.2.1. Okay, of this uh, Young and the Novo, okay, third edition, and you can you can kind of have a better summary how those uh, this equation for critical chi uh, information and the the composition at the critical point has been developed, and uh, we also need to talk about more about what do you even by the critical point. The critical point is right there. And that's the one that uh, we're talking about, the critical point, where the, essentially the lowest chi point where the phase separation should occur. Okay? So we talked about the phase separation. So next one is I'm going to talk about more about giving you uh, examples of uh, LCST and UCST behavior. And uh, the UCST is much more common in the polymer solution. For the polymer blend, it is an interesting way that um, uh, the, actually you have a more repulsion as you heat it up the samples. And that's actually has been the uh, more complicated theoretical interpretation uh, by, the, by the people using the different kinds of um, polymer blend model.